Bye, bye. Not a better day of the week. Ooh, October looks good. We got that in yesterday. That's a cool combo. Look at gloss black and red. Looks good. Looks real good. Yeah, I don't think it'll last long. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't. I don't think it'll last very long. We've already had two or three people talking about trading their box in for it. So <laughs> that looks good, though. But you never, you never can tell. It may sit there a little while. Yeah, that's true. What a that's a scanner in that one box. So that's our uh, HD and our car line scanner. Yeah. Um. But now it does come with several things in the box. Uh, it is a big box, as you can tell. Lord, that's a, what, here you can see how massive this thing is. It uh, comes Lord. with a four channel lab scope. It comes with a battery, a Bluetooth battery tester. Um, and that, the new Max 5 actually comes, the dongle that's with it in due time will be also a J box. Um, they're still working the kinks out with that. Um, but in, in time, you'll be able to have another computer download some software and uh, use that as a, as like a J box. So you'd have to have a whole locker just to store that thing in that thing is <laughs> massive. Yeah. A lot of people, um, they're not putting it back in the case every time. They're putting it in their toolbox. Oh, them, so. yeah. But it does store the, and it, it's a, it's actually a pretty huge scanner um, itself. The dimensions of the box is a 26 and a half by 18.6 by 12 and a half. Yeah. That's yeah, a big yeah, it's case. Man. It's a big box. Wow. Big power comes in big packages, I guess. I guess. But. Holy smokes. What? We new have hammer, huh? We have a new hammer. Uh, DBH45 is this one here. Uh, so it is a dead blow style hammer. It's a fiberglass handle, but it does have replaceable um, ends on it. Mm -hmm. So you, it, when these get marred up or are chewed up or whatever, you can replace it. It does have a steel um, thread there to, to go back on. The actual, it's a polyurethane head, um, but it's it's non-rebounding like your dead blows and stuff right. like that. So handle feels nice. Everybody's liking that you can replace the heads on it. Um, they need to come up with like brass so you could put a brass head oh on Oh yeah, that would be cool, that yeah. Would be nice. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, but obviously you can use it in many different uh, That'd be a whole lot cheaper too, an inch worth of brass that big instead of a the whole, whole hammer, hammer full of brass. Yeah, that's definitely an idea to pass up. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Man, that right there, that bill. Y'all better pay attention, Mako. That's a cash cow right there. That's, that's it. <laughs> so there's that one, and we got a smaller one. So I think that one's the 28 ounce, so. Either one of those would do good mm -hmm. with a brass end on it, though. Absolutely. But I thought that's what she was going to have, is like that would four be nice. different, like, you know, a rubber end, a brass end. and I'm hoping that they come up with something like that. That'd that be nice. That would be a good thing right there, having that brass end on there. Even if, you know, you get some of the dead blows that have the, the metal head on the end, that would be nice, too. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, brass is usually expensive, so just a little bit of insert there would be a lot just better. Just a little nothing. brass hammer is very expensive. Yeah. That's but, a good idea. Well, I mean, did you get my fan in? I think we did. Do you know where it's at back there? Uh, oh, it's back yep, here. Yep, sitting right there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we would have had that here last week, but our truck decided to break down, so. It happens. Hit 100,000 miles and decided, well, I'm done. <laughs> so I want to see what the ratchet sale. I know I got a text message yesterday talking about the big, I think it was like 30% 30 off. 30% off, yeah. Uh, and you still have until the 27th. Uh, the 27th is the end of the the deal. We've got a bunch ordered for some people. As you can see, we're already through most of ours. 
And it's ratchets and screwdrivers, right? I uh, don't think screwdrivers. I think it's just the ratchets. Oh, okay. But, um, we've got we've we've got deals on screwdrivers because they were at a meeting. Mm -hmm. um, but the thirty percent off is on the ratchet. That's their big um, push there. But yeah, cool. Um, I'll just pick one and we'll show you a price of it. What it's supposed to be. What it is on sale on our truck. Yeah, CFR one seventy eight LF. Of course, it'll be G. So that's what, like a 18 inch? Uh, yeah. Locking flex in. 178. LFG. So normally that ratchet online goes for 288. Uh, and you put it on sale, you're at 202. So. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. That's pretty, pretty good sale price. Absolutely. The 3 8 12 inch, um, normally 245 online, goes all the way down to 172. So, I mean, you've got a pretty good sale on ratchets mm -hmm. right now. Uh, and, and dealers are doing it different. So, um, some of them's taking that 30% and able to pass it on to a free item, maybe sockets or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, you can always just request the 30% off. Yeah. Um, so, there's a couple different ways you can take advantage of that deal. So if you guys haven't had a Matco ratchet, now's the time to get one. And it's on every ratchet that we have. They didn't exclude any of them. And that's mm -hmm. very unusual because normally when our three eighths are on sale, our quarters and halves are not. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I've been to Expo to where our halves were on sale, but the others were not. So the fact that they did all of, all them. of them really surprised me. All colors. Um, One of the things I suggest for anybody, if you don't have a Matco ratchet, at least buy that little quarter inch fixed head ratchet because it is so thin. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm sure you got one up here. Uh, the quarter inch fixed head, I don't have. Oh, oh yeah, the yeah. three eighths there. Like, you can see how thin that is. Like, give them a shot because they're thin. <laughs> I put my screwdrivers and my ratchets up against anybody. Yeah. Those uh, ratchets are super, super, super thin. Yeah, they're nice. Uh, they're and then you sure. can actually take, we've showed this on the video, and every time we talk about it, somebody comments they didn't know it, and they do it again. But you can actually make this quarter inch here, which is thinner than that one, a 3 8 mm -hmm. uh, And when you do that, you've got the smallest, you know, as, yeah. as far as diameter, you've got the smallest that you can get in a 3 8 So really get in the tight spots. And we don't have a whole lot of, uh, everybody talks about that's a good way to, to strip out a ratchet. We don't have a whole lot of that. No. Now, obviously, if you take a cheater pipe, you can strip out anything, oh, sure. right? Like, I figure the joint will break before, well, yeah. the anvil will probably break. Yeah. Down. But if you change it to a 3 8 and yeah. that, you'll probably break the joint on that one. Yeah, we don't we don't have a whole lot of hey I stripped it out. Um, mm -hmm. We have, I mean, obviously it happens everything breaks in due time, but a lot of people convert them over and have zero problems out of it. So. I know there's a lot of people still hating on the Matco ratchets because remember y'all had that one time it was like 2018 or 19 whatever it was that the something was wrong with the paws remember they didn't harden them or over harden them or something yeah there was some of them breaking but i mean that was just a one-time thing you know and and you go through rough patches where like that oh. where you have something i mean there's recalls on every vehicle out there for a reason hell they recall dog food and diapers and everything else i mean shit happens yeah I mean, it's just how it is i know? mean you show me a perfect company and i'll show you my lake house i got for sale but absolutely uh, there, there's no such thing so yep. it, have we had our troubles yes are we gonna have more trouble down the road yes i mean but. everybody wants to bang on matco and then talk praises about snap-on but look at their new ratchets with the trouble they're having with them you know the uh, new 100 tooth or whatever they are they're just from what i understand they're junk you know i mean it is what it is that's how you make a tool line better you know you try stuff it don't work redo it and i mean that was a manufacturing glitch on just from what i understand like one batch of paws or something yeah. that they had but well and you have that you have it to mm -hmm. where uh, i know at one of our times that we had a bad batch like that the reason that we had a bad batch is because 
they keep their uh, design and stuff like that pretty streamlined, but they only had two people that were made to inspect it. That's it. Those yeah. two people were the only ones that knew what to look for and how to test it and everything else. Well, those two went on vacation at the same time. Of course, they put somebody in that position, <laughs> but the problem is they didn't know Not really exactly, what to look for. Yeah. So the whole time those people were on vacation, however many were going out a day, there was a flaw. It, you, you didn't catch it. Um, the, it the the simplest uh, <laughs> way that I can kind of relate to that is when I worked at a factory doing siding. You had to check the siding for color, thickness, and uh, a bunch of different stuff. And we had a computer that just passed everything. And that night we run over 5,000 pieces wrong because the computer continuously said the color was right. Mm -hmm. And it took that one guy coming in on day shift going, hey, that color's off. It's like, no, it ain't, look. He goes, I don't care, that color's off. And sure enough, recalibrate the machine and guess what the color was off so <laughs> that's five thousand pieces of siding that got scrapped but yeah. same way here people went on vacation we had our issue but that's been a while back we ain't, yeah. we ain't had that but. well there you go guys if you want a matco ratchet now is definitely the time to get them so be sure to get one now all right guys that's the video this week hopefully you liked it if you do hit that thumbs up check over for merchandise cool tools discount codes down here if you're not subscribed take your finger and click that button y'all have a great weekend see ya